Hello, my celestial Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Mystic Storm here to clear a path to a new life with you. If you're new, welcome to the family. I pray that this message resonates with you and that you're able to gain guidance for August 2020 and beyond. And <laughs> if you are already a part of the celestial kingdom, you already know what's up. We back with another one. All right. <laughs> Okay, my Virgos. So let's talk. I went into a brief meditation and the color that I seen for you is blue. Blue. And the message I got was uh, you'll find peace after the storm. You will find peace after the storm. So you might have went through some changes, some difficult times, um, but just know or you're about to or you're in it now. And just know that after this, everything will be all right. You will be at peace. You will be better off. Okay, so we're going to hop into your reading. And before we do, you already know, make sure you like, comment, subscribe smash that notification bell so you can continue to get content from this abundant growing and beautiful channel okay all right so the deck that i'm being drawn to is the oracle of the hidden worlds Spirit, what messages do you have for my brothers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2020 and beyond? Messages, guidance for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2020 and beyond. Mm -hmm. Okay, two. Let's see. We have Tree of Souls. Pretty. It says Collective Wisdom, Kinship Group, and Library. And then we have Very Energy, Growth, Expansion, a Flowering. So, with these two cards, definitely Very Energy is standing out to me. Um, you might be into fairies or the Fae. So this is significant for you. But this is talking about growth expansion. So there's peace after the storm. So that means after you will gain so much, there will be a flowering. Right now you're probably still waiting to bud. Okay? And with the tree of souls here, collective wisdom, kinship, group, and library. I feel like after it's all said and done, this will make you wiser. This will make you wiser and you're able to tap in more into the collective consciousness. And you're gaining more knowledge because of it. But yeah, you first you first have to weather this storm, but there's no good is ahead you'll be wiser you'll be stronger you'll have more abundance in your life what what more can you ask for but at the, at the time that everything is probably in chaos you don't feel like this is coming your way but it is it is it is so let's get into the tarot And I'm being called to the psychic tarot. Spirit, what messages, what guidance do you have for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2020 and beyond? messages, guidance that you have from our Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of August 2020 and beyond. The 
and then August, you know, shout out to you, Virgos, because believe towards the end of the month, you'll, it'll be your birthday season. So turn up. <laughs> Take your crown. <laughs> turn up. Okay. All right. So one popped out. And y'all, when y'all see this, y'all be like, okay. I understand. When I talk about there'll be peace after the storm, spiritual union. You'll be more connected with yourself. You might come in contact with a partner if you haven't already. If you are in partnership, you all are rekindling your love, okay? So this is beautiful. There will be peace. There will be harmony. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Are you going to let this um, divine intervention, you know, this chaos, this tower moment, affect you in a way that you aren't able to function, that you are blinded and you can't see the path that God, the universe, source, the all is trying to show you? Are you going to react before you think? Or are you going to sit back, observe, reflect, and see the direction that is carved out for you? Spiritual strength in reverse. There's some work that you have to do. There's some definite work that you have to do in order to endure the shift that's happening, okay? But you have it. You have to choose wisely. This harmony isn't going to come overnight. This could be definitely just you with your masculine and feminine side. Again, this can be a union partnership of some, some sort. But at the same time, in order to get this growth, this flowering, this blooming, this wisdom, you have to go, you have to go through something. Wisdom comes from experience. You know, wisdom comes from experience. So in this experience, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to choose wisely? Are you going to go towards this direction? If so, you need to work on your spiritual strength. Base chakra. So in order to work on your spiritual strength, you need to definitely um, do some root work. I'm hearing doing some more root work. Um, being able to feel secure in yourself, secure in your relationships, secure in your finances, being, feeling that you, you're you not in lack, having gratitude for what you have and know that more is going to come to you because that's, you deserve it. You deserve it. And, you know, if you continue in this slack mindset, that you won't get the growth that you want. Obstacles and challenges in reverse. This is good because it's going against spiritual strength, right, in reverse. And I feel like I feel like you will gain the spiritual strength that you need because you're doing the work. And that way, these challenges that you're facing won't affect you in a negative light. You will be able to reap what you want and you'll be able to to see the brighter side of things. Cause it's just like, I see the fairy, 
with the light beam here. There's light here in this union. There's just light everywhere. Now, obstacles, of course, we will say there's darkness. And there's darkness in everything. But guess what? We have to have what? Balance. Balance. So, you might have been too much in the dark side to the point where you couldn't see there's no possible way out but there is because you you're working if you continue to work on yourself continue to work on your spirituality go within do some root work these challenges and obstacles that you face will won't be <clears throat> a huge factor in your life shadow in reverse so yeah I, I was, oh, was going to say shadow work inner child I really was I really was so yeah you need to go within definitely go, go and do some root work root work does have to do with the inner child it does have to do with shadow self because that's where our fears lie you might have some fears that are keeping you stuck in this lack mindset. So definitely do some shadow work that will build up your spiritual strength in order for you to endure these obstacles that's to come. Okay? And when you once you do that, there will be peace. Peace after the storm. Wow. Okay, my Virgos. This is beautiful, okay? Comment below. Let me know how you feel about this, all right? We're going to get into the final message from the Wild Offering. But first, you already know what you got to do. You have to like, comment, sub subscribe, smash that notification bell so you can continue to get content from this growing, abundant, beautiful, insightful channel. <laughs> okay? All right, let's get into it. Spirit, what messages, what guidance do you have for my Virgos to close out this reading? Messages, guidance, what you have for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus to close out this reading. Challenges. Challenges. What? 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 Okay, y'all. I can't make this up. All right. Let's let's go. It says unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms if you are open. Please take over, divine, and guide the right directions or right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. Mm, mm, mm. It says, unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms if you're open. If you're open, you can gain this spiritual strength. You are able to endure your shadow because your shadow is just a reflection of you. Okay? Please take over, divine. Allow spirit to take over and guide you. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Okay? Let let spirit guide you. Mm, 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 mm. And guide the right actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. There will be peace after the storm. So beautiful, Virgos. So flipping beautiful. I, you know, I I hope that you all gain insight for this month and 
whenever you find this reading because these readings are timeless you know i do it for the month monthly energy but you might be in this monthly energy god knows when you know the end of the year in 2025 you know, year three, 3,000. I don't, I, I feel like YouTube will be around because that's archive files. You never know when you'll come across this. I just feel like I have to say this right now. But just know that everything will be okay. You will gain so much wisdom, so much guidance from this. And it is all going to be in your favor. You will grow from this. So, I hope you all find this message well. I love you all, my Virgos, and I pray that you continue to grow and that you gain guidance for this month and beyond, all right? We clear paths to a new life, and though it may be challenging, though it may be hard, we will find peace after the storm, all right? Love you all. Bye.